which is an honorable estate. Uh, it is God Himself signifying unto us the mystical union that is betwixt Christ and His Church, which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with His presence and first miracle that He wrought in Cana of Galilee, and is commended in holy writ to be honorable among all men. And therefore is not by any to be enterprised nor taken in hand, unadvisedly, lightly, or wantonly, but reverently, yeah. discreetly, soberly, and in the fear of God, duly considering the causes for which matrimony was ordained. First, it was ordained for the increase of mankind, according to the will of God and that children might be brought up in the fear and nurture of the Lord there is no flower the in his Christ. holy name. Secondly, it was ordained in order that the natural instincts and affections implanted by God should be hallowed and directed aright, <coughs> that those who are called of God to this holy estate should continue there in pureness of living. Thirdly, it was ordained for the mutual society, health and comfort that the one ought to have of the other, both in prosperity and adversity, into which holy estate these two persons present come now to be joined. Therefore, if any man can show any just cause why they may not lawfully join together, let him now speak or else hereafter forever hold his peace. I require and charge you both that you will answer at the dreadful day of judgment when the secrets of all hearts shall be disclosed. That if either of you know any impediment why ye may not be lawfully joined together in matrimony, you do now confess it. For be ye well assured that so many of our couple together, otherwise than God's word doth allow, are not joined together by God, neither is their matrimony lawful. William Arthur Philip Louis. Wilt thou have